my name is Nadine Paul and I study biomedical science. I've come from an international school in Bangkok. It was called Bangkok Patina School. No. Um, I applied. I applied because I thought it's something that everyone should do. Like if you have an aspiration, then you should just try it out. In school, I always had a passion for the sciences, especially biology, biology and chemistry. And so um, the aspect to just combine that was really exciting for me. Um, for biomedical science, you get two interviews. You get an interview at the college you apply to, and then you get a second interview at another college. So I applied to St. Edmunds, and I had one interview there, and then I had my second interview at Corpus, and then my offer was from Corpus. For me, I had to take the BMAT first, which is the Biomedical Sciences Aptitude Test, um, which I found quite tough. But then um, I got an average grade and I was still called for interviews, so I felt that that was really encouraging. At my interview, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, and so I found the interviewers really friendly, and now they're my tutors, and they're just really, really nice people, and they never try to catch you out, really. Um, the workload's tough. First of all, we get set about an essay a week, and then it builds up from there, and for biomedical science, you have lectures every day, generally until maybe one or two in the afternoon. And so that's also tough trying to keep up with that. But otherwise, I feel that I've settled in okay to it. I'm really glad that I have a lot of contact hours because I, if I know I don't understand something, it'll generally get explained to me in a lecture. And then I, if I really don't understand anything, I can go to my tutor about it. My tutorials is just me and one other person. And so we get real one-on-one -on -one time with the tutor. So if I ever read something in a book that I don't understand, he'll spend about 10, 15 minutes going it through with me. But they're very good at not giving you the answers and kind of leading you to the answers. I'm playing touch rugby um, outside of uni, which I'm really enjoying. I'm also rowing, which is fun. And um, I've joined the Biomedical Science Society, which is really great because they get some really good speakers in. You kind of work hard during the day and because of science, because of all your lectures, it's a lot easier because you don't have as much hours and hours in the library of just independent study. Um, I try to balance it, but it is quite tough. I've met a lot of people from different parts of England, a lot of people from America, from Australia. So it's a very international place and everyone's coming with a different story. I thought that I wouldn't really fit in because I'd never lived in England before. So I was a bit afraid that people might be unfriendly, but that was completely untrue. I've, it's been so welcoming, especially Corpus. I'm Jack Holland and I study chemistry. I'm coming from Cotswold Community High School in Wolverhampton. No, like I you had like no idea. After the interviews, I had no more no idea whether you're gonna get in them before. I thought it was good, like, it's effective. The thing I learned like, after, you can't prepare for it. You, there's no way, like, for chemistry especially, because the interview process, there's no way you can prepare for the process, which I kind of think is good, because that means everyone's got the same chances. I had no idea what I wanted to study. Like, I kind of knew I was going to do science, but when I started studying at it, it was like a whole new language. And then I learned that, like, even after studying it for like a month at it could explain so many things that happen in the world around us. It's really useful, you can apply it to so many situations. It varies from week to week, kind of. At the start, it, it was hard. But the thing is, I've learned now that if you if you get it wrong, it's it's fine. So we get a set of problem sheets, and then we have a week to do it, and then we have a tutorial based on that problem sheet, so the tutor marks it. I remember the first problem sheet, I was like really perfectionist. I was like, I can't do this. Like, I kept getting it wrong, and I could not see a way out of it. In the tutorial, the tutor teaches you how to do it, and it's not a problem if you get it wrong. Between 20 and 25 contact hours a week, so we have 10 hours of lectures. A week, so that's 9 till 11 every day. Two afternoons we have labs, so that's from 11 till 5, but that's the maximum. If you get it finished before then, you're free to go. Then we have a one hour tutorial on a Thursday or a Friday, and then a one hour maths class. I've started rowing. I never, I never thought I'd do it. I remember before I came, my granddad was like, Oh, you've got to go rowing in Oxford, and I was like, No way, you have to get up early and everything. But I have had to get up early, like twice this week at 6 o'clock. But I really enjoy it, it's great. It's like, it's like a really good social aspect. Yeah, definitely have time, like, still get time to go and socialise in the beer stand. I make an effort of playing pool with my mate every single day. You don't want to just work in the library all the time, you've got to have a balance. Everyone's like really friendly, like everybody. There's no one that's, that, won't, that you won't talk to. Everybody knows everyone. Like, we speak to all, all the years. I've met of people from all over the world. People from like loads of different backgrounds. It's great. You get to make friends with people you never thought you would meet. Well, we got the bop tomorrow, so we got like, the, the party in the college. That were really good. In seventh week, there's a novice boat race. It's like the Christchurch Regatta, and it's only for novice boats, which hopefully I'll get in the boat. And that'll be, that'll be really good fun.